Hello, everybody. I'm going to be pointing out some key differences in the replica ATF badges that you can pick up on lots of websites versus the real McCoy. Now, badge collecting overall, since it's a general gray area, I'm going to keep highly confidential the website that I obtained the real McCoy from. I'm not going to divulge that. Sorry. But, I will say this, I see no harm whatsoever in badge collecting overall if you're not misusing the pieces. If you just want these to dress up like for Halloween or to collect for yourself and possibly sell or trade with fellow collectors or leave as keepsakes to pass on to friends and relatives when you pass away. There's no harm whatsoever in it, but laws will be laws, so again, I will not divulge where I got the real badge from that we're going to use as comparison to these. Now, first off, this badge is just trash. Avoid it altogether. It is the first series that came out. It's almost everywhere. Go to Google, type in ATF badge for sale, and 9 out of 10 times, this comes right up. Let's go over why it's a piece of shit. The eagle, the head of the eagle is just smooth. Hardly any detailing on the head. It looks like shit. The beak, again, is smooth. Little, if any, details on the beak. And the center seal. Did you catch what they did? Yes. On the center seal, they leave the S off explosives. So the badge reads, Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosive. That is inaccurate. It should have an S. Now, those key flaws pointed out, everything else is okay. But overall, I would avoid this badge because you can get a better made badge for $20, $30 more. Now the silver badge, which is task force officer versus special agent. The silver badge is very nicely done, very well made. I like this badge a lot. I love it. First off, the head of the eagle. Look at the difference in that. Very nicely done. Has nice feather work on the neck. Very intricately done. Nice eye detailing. Nice beak detailing. But, that said, both of these badges have a flaw where you can spot they're not the genuine article. And that is the thickness. They're quite thick. They're hefty badges. These are not thin. They're not pop metal. And they're made of solid copper. This is gold plated. This is nickel plated. But they have a nice thickness. They have a nice pin. But this one is trash. It has so many things off about it. Now this one is very nicely made. It has the correct motto on the seal, as you can see. No misspellings whatsoever on that. Now, both badges, compared to the real McCoy, we're going to show the real McCoy. Notice the blue on these. Keep note of that blue. This is the real badge. See how dark that blue is? 
compared to what's on the popular replicas. The blue on a real badge is almost black. Let's see here, move it around in the light. Whereas on the replicas, it stands out a bit more. It's a brighter blue. It's dark blue, don't get me wrong, but it is a brighter blue than what's on the U.S. government spec badge. The detailing on the eagle, again, way nicer than this piece of trash. The head is nicely done. Nice eye there. And we have an extra feature that's not seen on the silver badge, which even though it's nicely done, it lacks a tiny dot on the beak. I guess is a air hole. What would be comparable to possibly a nostril on any other species but it does not have that if it had the dot this would be near perfect now here's a couple of things they got wrong the Department of Justice you can see it's more raised more pronounced even when you move the badge it's highly visible whereas on the genuine you move the badge it doesn't become as much visible it begins to blend in with the blue also the font on the ATF is off You can compare the two fonts here. But that said, everything else matches up on the silver. They got the seal correct. They got the spacing on the blue ribbon correct. But now let's look at one other feature in the seals. The stars on the genuine are more struck in, more pronounced, more raised, more 3D-ish than on the popular replicas. They're not as bold. They're overall smooth. Whereas on the genuine article, they're more sculpted. Now the final feature, sides. These are smooth to the touch. Very smooth. Whereas on the genuine article, it's a bit rougher. You can see lots of lands and grooves on the sides, and the wings on the eagle on the side have an overall stacked appearance to them. See how they just stack like stairs almost. They're layered, they're stacked. Nothing is smooth about that on the sides. And now let's look 
at the overall coloring. This is way off. It's too yellow. The actual gold used is more of a dollar gold. Now the silver badge is the one I would go with if you're on a budget, you're just starting a collection, you only have a few pieces and you need to get ATF in your collection, you know, for whatever reason you want it or you're going to do a YouTube video or say whatever and it has an ATF skit. This would be a good one to get. This one, I can't say it enough, just pass. This one you can pick up for $20, but it is trash. This one is anywhere from about $50 to $80, and it's way more better made. Now, when the real McCoy turns up, on certain websites it is not cheap but on the same if you're a collector it may be a once in a lifetime grab it may be your only chance in life to pick up a real US government badge so if you can afford it I highly recommend getting the real McCoy but the real McCoy this was a hundred and fifty dollars plus taxes shipping and handling so, yeah, the real McCoy is not cheap. Now, the replicas, as far as I know, only come with a pen. I don't know if they have what this has on them or not, but this does not have a pen because it is a wallet badge. It has a thick clip on the back for attaching it to a wallet, whereas these... You can put in a wallet. They make wallets that have a leather card that you pin this to and stick it inside the badge cutout, but this one per se is specifically made for a wallet. But as a collector, I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed it. I...